interviews. This is so exciting. Honey, do you want some gum? Your breath gets really gnarly when you're nervous. Mr. Witwicky? Yeah, search is over. I'm Mr. Whitley. Is anybody else joining? No. No? You want me to move right there? I'll move right there. For now. Sensei. Ready? Begin. Uh, I graduated this year, major in geopolitics, minor in tech studies. Very interested in government, technology, how that's going to intersect and coexist, shape the future. Why did we bother sending him to an Ivy College for? You're three months out of school and he can't find a job? Uh, Mr. Matsuhisu. Matsuhasi. Matsumoto. Moto. Martha, can I call you Martha? No, you may not. Okay, Jack, there's two types of people in this room. There's thinkers, there's doers. There's winners, there's dreamers, and there's buddies. What about some weaknesses? I don't know. You have a very trustworthy face. You remind me of like a an Asian Colonel Sanders, a man I can trust. He's a millennial. That means they're the, you know, like lost generation. Why was the FBI looking for you? The what? Yeah, FBI, good you flagged that. It was during all that alien craziness when you were 14. I mean, they were very kind to me, they found me in a jiffy. Uh, and that's all been expunged. Obama gave me medal, actually. Just saying. It's always good to have a, a medal guy in the office with a medal. From Obama? Yeah. In this office, we're mostly Republicans. So. I'm not feeling too good. No? No. Why don't you get a little dipping tray and dip the dog in a pep, though? That's a solution. Mm. How? I got another one. We gotta go. Come on. Really? <laughs> Sit. Got myself and Mr. Sam Witwicky, recent college graduate, previous experience next to zero yet. He has a recommend letter from our board. WTF to that. Do I know somebody on your board? Here's the deal. You know who we are. Accurate Systems, Global Leader in Telecom, Aerospace, $17 billion in profit last year. We contract for DARPA, NASA, JPL, you name it. You perform here, doors open for you anywhere. First job out of college is critical, kid. You either take a step down the correct career path or you fall into a life-sucking abyss. Mm -hmm. So it all depends on how you respond to my next two words. Impress me. Now, impress me. You catch me off guard. I, I don't impress know what to begin. Me. I, I'm an open book. Ask me any question you so like. So you're a go-getter, ramrod, yes, take charge kind of guy? I'm a killer. A stone-cold killer. So take charge. Take guard. charge, Viking, barbarian. Of course, it's me. Pow! I'm here. We are not looking for that here. No brown nosing, no suck-up, no toolery. I... Um, why is Chantel using what appears to be a red cup from the red floor when we are on the yellow floor? On it. it is a visual and therefore a visceral betrayal. Stop it. Such a dumbass. Disgusting. Thank you. It's total anarchy around here. <laughs> the, uh... Email I uh, read said administrative aid. Nope, mailroom. I'm gonna go. Uh, do you have any idea how many Ivy League Phi Beta Kappas would kill? Yes, sir, I saved your life twice. Okay, I can't tell you how or when or why, but I have done shit that matters, and I just kind of like a job where I matter again. So thank you, but no thank you. Okay. You know what I think. You want the job after this job, but son, this is the job that's standing in the way. And that's why you're gonna be so very, very good at it. Because when I look at you, I see a younger man. Sameness, there is peace. Exceptionalism is a lie. Free yourself from your cutie mark. Choose a quality of your special talent.
Pass over the river, be on every path. She's past the wind that's blowing me back over the mountain. Find a way out of here. I can't take much more of that voice. Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> there, there, Rarity. It's not so bad. Yes, it is. Look at those drapes. I have no idea if they're tacky or not. Well, I think they're nice. So do I. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Can you help us, little birdie? Go on now, fly away and get us help. Oh, even tweets don't make sense anymore. Oh, this door shut tighter than a summer of, of piglets and shoot. I can't even make countryisms no more. Of course it's boring here now, but at least you're not in a cage. Something odd about that staff. But I'm pretty sure... And I don't... Well, it looks like you'll have plenty of time to try to think about it. Training and debriefing in 15 minutes. Dino, report to Bay 23. Sideswipe, Bay 37 for weapons assessment. Senator, I suggest you remember that when the NSA wants funding, they call me. When the CIA is going to take out a target, they ask first for my permission. And when the president wants to know which members of Congress are politically vulnerable in terms of, oh, let's say, undiscovered criminal conduct, I'm the number he dials. U.S. agencies say they've been monitoring the blast. But if, in fact, this was a covert military strike, no nation has yet... CIA is up my ass about this mystery raid in the Middle East, so it's time to come clean. Was a unit involved? Uh, I'm not sure. No. All right, guys, this is how you do a Decepticon head kill shot. <laughs> As director of national intelligence, I'm a really big fan of intelligent answers. I, I can't really tell you definitively. These Autobots are like teenage kids. They like to sneak out of the house every once. Colonel Lennox, are you in command or are you yes, not? Yes, ma'am, I am. Stop with the ma'am. Enough with the ma'am. Do I look like a man? No, ma'am. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes. This gun is my perfect invention, Ironhide. Right. Oh, good. Get here. My name's Q. I do hope you have answers for him. I've never seen him so upset. Optimus, you remember Charlotte Mearing? Our director of national intelligence is in a bad mood. He's not talking to anybody today. What is this? The silent treatment? 
We've seen that, and this is not that. Definitely not. This is worse. Prime, make something of yourself. <laughs> He's been. You lied to us. Everything humans know of our planet, we were told it all been shared. So why was this found in human possession? We were in the dark on this also. It was director-only clearance at Sector 7 until now. The bag. Hermes Birkin Green Ostrich. Oh my God. This is a secret few men know, and fewer still remain alive. Allow me to please introduce to you two of NASA's founding mission directors and astronaut Dr. Buzz Aldrin, one of the first two men to step foot on the moon. Sir, Optimus Prime. From a fellow space traveler, it's a true honor. The honor is mine. Our entire space race of the 1960s, it appears, was in response to an event. Our astronauts investigated a crashed alien ship. No survivors on board. We were sworn to secrecy by our commander-in-chief. This was a mission you will never speak of. I understand, sir. A total of 35 people knew the real plan at NASA. Soviets managed to land unmanned probes. Somehow they must have picked up that fuel rod. We believe the Russians deduced that the ride was a fissionable fuel assembly, believed they had it mastered and tried to harness it at Chernobyl. We had six missions in all. We took hundreds of photos and samples. We locked them away forever. And the moon program was shut down. Where did you search the crash vault? The ship's name was the Ark. I watched it escape Cybertron myself. It was carrying an Autobot technology which would have won us the war. And its captain. Who is its captain? The great Sentinel Prime, the technology's inventor. He was commander of the Autobots before me. It's imperative that I find it before the Decepticons learn of its location. Our Autobot spacecraft has the ability to get there. And you must pray it's in time. us into abandoning the things that make us special okay i'll do it Woo! i mean cool but what do i do once i'm out 